In all the voting systems we've looked at so far, the voters have each had one vote. But that is not the case for all voting systems. Let's look at a few examples. In the UN Security Council, there are five permanent members, Great Britain, France, United States, China and Russia, and 10 non-permanent members. In order to pass a resolution, all of the permanent members and at least four of the non-permanent members must vote for it. In a jury trial of a criminal case, a simple majority is not sufficient to render a verdict. As you may know, uh, votes in criminal cases must be unanimous. Another example, decision making in the corporate world is generally done on a per share basis. So for example, if you own a thousand shares of stock in a company, then you will have uh, 10 times the votes as someone else who owns only 100 shares. All of these are examples of what is known as the weighted voting system. Okay, so in general, a weighted voting system can be specified with two things. First, we need a set of weights, corresponds to the number of votes for each voter, and a quota, which tells us the minimum number of votes needed to pass a resolution. Okay, so let's look at a few of these. Okay, our first example, we have, in all these cases, we'll have the quota given first in a set of square brackets followed by a, a colon, and then a list of weights separated by commas. And so in this system we see that two of the voters have 26 votes each and then the other four voters have 12 votes each. And what's interesting here is that if these two voters, the ones with the 26, like a resolution, then that resolution will pass because 26 plus 26 is, gives us 52, which is enough, even if none of the other four like the resolution. On the other hand, if all four of these voters like a resolution, that's still not enough because 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 gives us only 48. Okay, here's a a more typical type of voting system. In fact, all of the voters in this system have one vote and we only need a simple majority in order to pass a resolution. So this shows that ordinary systems can also be thought of or classified as weighted voting systems. Okay, in C we have a quota of 14 votes needed pass a resolution. One voter has 15 votes 
The others have two, three, three, and five. And so we see that if this voter likes something, then it will definitely pass. On the other hand, if all of these like something and this one does not like it, then it will not pass because 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 is not enough. That's only 13 votes. So the resolution cannot pass. Okay, so this system is a dictatorship here because what this voter here says goes. Okay, now it might seem in this example that the voters have unequal power, but in fact, if you look at the quota, you see that all four of the voters need to agree or a resolution cannot pass. So in fact, this voter here with only one vote has exactly as much power as the voter with four votes. Okay, here's our criminal jury. Each voter has one vote, but the quota 12 requires that all of them agree. Okay, and finally this might be called a silly system because if you look at the total number of votes, there are not enough votes there to pass a resolution.